Hey, hi Nelson. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. You're fine. So, what about your weekend? How was it? Well, interesting because interesting. yes, because um, um, I'm staying at home Saturday, but the in the afternoon mm -hmm. I go I went. all I went sorry I went off uh, all afternoon it's mm -hmm. correct yeah the whole afternoon okay okay uh, in the a lot of places <laughs> a lot of places <laughs> yes did you yes. go to it yes okay and arrive i arrive uh, more um, como puedo decir uh, ya algo noche okay so noche. i i arrive late or, or more late como puedo decir solo late está late, bien late yeah tarde yeah okay i arrive late okay but the when i go up woke up uh, on Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I feel down. Okay, really? Yes. Okay, so you had an interesting weekend, but it was kind of tiring. But did you rest yesterday? Yes. Okay. All day. Okay, so that is good. All right. Yeah, because if you had a really interesting Saturday, right? So that means that on uh yesterday, on Sunday, you needed to rest. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I never, I never uh, go out Saturday. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Perfect. So let me see. Raul, good evening. How are you? Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm good fine. Evening. You're fine. Okay, so yeah. what about your weekend? How was it? Uh, amazing. I went to to camping uh, from Sunday and from Saturday to Sunday. To Sunday. Yeah. So okay. I'm very happy. <laughs> when do you visit? Yeah. Uh, you I visit? I visit. I visited. Uh, I visited a place uh, in let me see let me see in Planes and Randeros but in a specific mm -hmm. place mm -hmm. the finca Utatla. Oh I have never heard about that one. Yeah me too. Yeah and for for me what well, it was first first time I went but uh a local, a local, let me see how, como se dice? Mm -hmm. El guía, se me olvidó la palabra, local, no sé qué se, se le llama, but, mm -hmm. but one person local in the, in the finca, mm -hmm. they say that in this place, uh, when a lot of people to practice uh, climbing and camping, oh. Mm -hmm. So it's, it is is I think it's very popular, but for mm -hmm. me it was first time. Okay, got it. Did you enjoy it? What? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I like uh, all about uh, uh, hike or camping. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So I can see that you really had a great weekend. Uh, so let me see. Good evening, Rafael. Good evening, Eulise, Jensi, Walter, Hosman. Good evening. How do you feel today? How about your weekend? How was it? Good. So, so did you rest or what did you do? Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Rafael. Okay, so let's see, guys. We are going to start with today's class. And well, 
Today, we're going to have different themes. We are going to learn new vocabulary. And basically, this is today's agenda. So we have the warm up. We are going to start with vocabulary. Then we are going to move to grammar. Today, we are going to base on a schedule, all right? Um, we also have a speaking time. We have grammar quiz, vocabula uh, vocabulary quiz, a listening quiz. And at the end, we have the wrap up. Okay, so let me see. Um, hello, Jancy. Okay, so we are going to start with vocabulary. So the first thing that we are going to do today is that we are going to match the vocabulary to the definitions that we have right here. So as you can see, we have eight new words. Yeah, probably you know some of them or probably not, but we are going to learn together. So let's see. Um, let's see, Rafael, help us reading from one to uh, from one to eight, but just the words. Hey. Uh, yes. Priority. Okay. Pain. Yes. A task. Mm -hmm. Appointment, okay. due, mm -hmm. progress, effective, and urgent. Excellent. Just number five, guys. This one is going to be do. Okay. Do. Okay. do. Like, like you, right? Do. Yes. Okay, guys. So, priority. What do you think priority is? We have eight definitions right here. What is a priority? What do you think a priority is? The letter F. Letter F, very important, and it should be looking. Uh, letter C. C. Letter C. And what is letter C, guys? Yeah. Question that is more important that even everything mm -hmm. else. And need to be focused on first. First. Per, yes, perfect. So, well, first, okay, first. first. Yeah. So, this one is going to be focused, all right? Focused with D at the end. Focused. Yeah. And a priority is a situation that is more important than everything else and needs to be focused on first. That is correct. What is aim? Aim, what is it? Mm -hmm. What is aim? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move to number three to the ones that probably we know. What is a task? Now, what about number four? What is appointment? Letter H. Letter H. Very good. So, and what is letter H, Nelson? At a time when you are going to meet someone to talk about a particular subject. Perfect. That is correct. That is appointment. Excellent. Okay. What about number five? What is do? Do? No? Okay. What about number six? What is progress? Mm -hmm. Progress? What is it? No? What about effective? What is it? What is effective? Progress is not letter um, E. Okay, progress, letter E. And what is letter E, Anna? The process of improving something or getting closer to a goal. Yes, very good. So progress is letter E. That is correct. What about effective? Number five is with letter B, expect to happen or arrange. Excellent. Number five is letter B, expected to happen or arrange. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. 
What about number seven? What is effective? Letter seven is maybe letter A. Letter A, your goal and the focus of what you are trying to achieve, effective. Um, not exactly. Letter G. Letter G. And what is letter G? We're working in the way that you want and doing the job well. Very good. Working in the way that you want and doing, all right, doing the job well. That is effective. Perfect. Ask, what about? ask is letter A, A, the goal and the focus of what you are trying to achieve? Mm, uh, achieve, no. Letter D, uh, task. Okay. A particular job that needs to be done often one that is difficult that is correct that is a task right mm -hmm. yes it's mm -hmm. a particular job that needs to be done often one that is difficult a task for him is letter f very important Are... and needs mm -hmm. perfect it is urgent letter f yeah letter f. it's very important and needs to be looked at very soon yes very important and needs to be looked at very soon. And what about number two? Aim. Letter A. Letter A. Yes. Okay. So, guys, aim is the same as saying goal, all right? Objective. Yeah. And aim is a goal. Like a uh, set? Yes. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have priority, aim, task, appointment, do, progress, effective, and urgent. Urgent. Yeah, very good. Okay, so we are going to use this vocabulary later on. Right? Do you have any question? Okay, not right now. Let's move. Now, let's talk about time adjectives. Let's complete the sentence with the adjectives below. So we have brief, eternal, long-term, temporary, and timeless. Okay, let's see. Okay, so take a look at those sentences. We need to add one of those words, yeah? Number one. Repairing your laptop again is just a uh, temporary, temporary, mm -hmm. temporary solution. Mm -hmm. I have finished the idea. You really need to buy a new one. Yeah, you really need to buy a new one. What about a uh, number two? The band's music is eternal. Eternal? Okay. Let's add eternal. Now, the eternal in, in the number, maybe uh, number three, many religions believe in eternal life after death. Yes. Okay. Very good. So, eternal. Let's add eternal. Number three. Yeah, that is correct. Oh, well, it is lowercase because it's in the middle. Okay. What about number four? Scientists are researching. Long term. Long term. Excellent. Long term. Perfect. So the second one is timeless. Perfect. The second one is timeless. So, yes, timeless. Okay, timeless. Perfect. And the last one. Brief. Brief. And what is, okay, now let's uh, look at synonyms, okay? So let's see. Now match the synonyms below to the adjectives above. Okay, what is a synonym for uh, momentary? Is what brief is a momentary? Okay. Brief? Yes. Brief. Perfect. Brief. What about 
a synonym for permanent? Eternal. Mm, okay. Eternal. Oh. No? Okay. Let's add permanent here, okay? What about provisional? Temporary. Provisional, temporary. Yes. Temporary. Mm -hmm. Everlasting. Long term. Long term. And what about enduring? Enduring is a long term. Mm -hmm. Everlasting is eternal. Everlasting may be timeless. Okay. So in this case, um, eternal, everlasting. Okay, let me, let me remove that one. Okay, so eternal. And what about long-term? It should be permanent, okay? Eternal is everlasting. And enduring is timeless. Okay, timeless. Those are synonyms. Okay, those are synonyms, guys. What is the, the meaning of brief? Brief, what is brief? Mm -hmm. Brief. Like a short, short time. Short time. Very good, it's a short time. What is, well, everlasting is something eternal. Eternal, yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of enduring? Mm -hmm. Enduring? Forever. Forever, okay, could be, right? Yes, those are synonyms, yeah. Very good, all right. Now, uh, let me see, okay, let's move. Those were adjectives, okay? Now let's talk about idioms. Idioms that are usually useful in the office, okay? So we have six right here. Um, Wilbur, help us reading the six idioms, those six idioms. Yeah. Okay. Uh, think outside the box. Yes. It's not rocket science. Mm -hmm. Let's touch base. Swallow the frog. Yes. Push the needle. Shoot the puppy. Perfect. Okay, guys. What is the meaning of think? outside the box if i tell you you need to think outside the box what am i talking about letter d letter d letter d letter d okay so to think outside the box is going to be letter d and what is letter d it is look at things look at things from the new perspective perspective correct mm -hmm. Yes, correct. So um, sometimes we need to think outside the box. Well, yes, that is um, crucial, right? Sometimes. What about number two? It's not rocket science. What is the meaning of that? For me, it's letter B. Letter B, okay. It's not difficult to understand. Correct. Uh, who can give us one synonym for it's not rocket science? A synonym for that expression. Mm. No, it's not Wait, rocket yeah. science is the same as? It's a piece of cake. Yeah. Something easy, something that is not difficult to understand, something that is not difficult to do. Yeah, so it's a piece of cake. So instead of you saying it's a piece of cake, you can say it's not rocket science. 
and it's the same. Okay. What about number three? Let's touch base. No idea? What about number four? Swallow the frog. Mm -hmm. Let's swallow the frog. Swallow the frog means that we need to do the most unpleasant task first, what you don't like. Mm -hmm. What about number five? Push the needle. Let's push the needle. Make a brutal decision? Mm, not exactly, Carlos. So push the needle means take things to the next level, yeah? Mm -hmm. And shoot the puppy. That means make a brutal decision. Like shoot the puppy, yeah? Mm -hmm. Shoot the puppy. And then let's touch base is let's, let's in keep contact. in contact. Let's touch base. I'll call you later on. Those are idioms, right? Idiomatic expressions. Mm -hmm. And those are really useful. You will hear this type of phrases whenever you talk with a, a native speaker, right? They use it a lot. So you need to start learning those type of phrases, okay? Now, let's move and let's go to prepositions. Prepositions of time, yeah? We have at or in. Okay, let's see. Number one, let's see if you remember, okay? In or at? At. 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 Very good, at. okay? So we will meet at 7.30 p.m. Number two. In. 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 Uh, Walter, help us read number two with the proposition. I'm going to the movies in the evening. Excellent, very good, in the evening. What about number three, uh, Susana? In or at? At. At, okay, very good. And can you please read the complete sentence, Susana? Yeah, it gets colder at sunset. Perfect, and what is the meaning of at sunset? Atardecer. Yes, la puesta del sol. La atardecer, yes. Okay, number four, Ana. Preposition and help us reading the complete sentence. At. Okay. Uh, I like to walk around this city at night. Excellent, at night. Number five, please. Um, let me see, Hostman, number five, with the preposition in the whole sentence. Is Hosman here? Hosman? More well, like in that. No, probably not. Okay, Nelson, number five. In, I will be at work early in the morning. Perfect. Uh, Salvador, number six. In. In, okay. Uh, read the whole sentence, Salvador. They have lunch in noon. Okay. Well, in this case, uh, no, okay. It should be at. Mm -hmm. yeah? At noon, okay. At noon. Uh, number seven, please, um, Raul. I like to go running. Say 
At the afternoon. At the afternoon? Um, are you sure? No. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon. Yes, okay. It should be in the afternoon, okay? In, yes, very good. Never at the afternoon, never, okay? Always in. Uh, and number eight, please, um, Nelson. My mother gets up at sunrise. Yes, at sunrise. Yes. Amanecer. Yes. Okay. Al amanecer. Yes. Eh, el sunrise es cuando sale el sol, cuando está saliendo el sol. So that means around 5.30 a.m. probably. Yeah. At sunrise. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, at, in, never, eh, in noon, always at noon, never at the afternoon, always in the afternoon, never in night, always at night, okay, eh, in the evening, well, in those, at sunset, at sunrise, yeah, do not forget about this, because those are like mandatory, you cannot change that, okay? Perfect, let's move. Now we are going to move to conversation questions. We are going to practice for around five to eight minutes, okay? So what is your daily schedule like at work? Yeah, which is uh, the range or yeah, the range of hours that you work. Then who is in charge of organizing a staff a schedules in your company. You should know that. How many people, uh, I'm sorry, how many hours per week do you typically, this one, pronunciation, typically. Yeah, typically. Typically, no, typically. How many hours per week do you typically spend working? Do you think this is above or below Average and why? How many hours uh -huh, do you work? Okay, so we are going to practice just for about five to eight minutes and then we are going to come back and we are going to continue with the book. Okay, so let's move. Um, if you cannot participate in the speaking, please stay here in the main room. Okay. I'm fine too. So how are you, Jose Salvador and Rose? How do you feel today? What about your weekend? How was it? So so. It was so so. Why, Rose? Because uh, I go to work in in time. I forget it. I in, went to work. Yes, I went to work. Yesterday. Yesterday. Really? Mm -hmm. You work you worked on Saturday and Sunday? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so um you didn't rest. Yes. Okay. Okay. And I know I don't free free time. You didn't have me. free time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you feel tired. Yes. Okay, Rose. Well, and you, Sabala? I 
um, I feel very well. Okay. And how about your weekend? What do you do? Do you rest? Do you go out? Do you stay at home? It is Saturday. I I am. Yo descansé. I will rest. ¿Cómo sería? Oh no, I rested. I rested. Okay. Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yesterday? Yesterday I went to the church. Okay. The whole day. All day. All day. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So let's start with the conversation questions. Okay. Uh, you can share the screen if you if you want. And mm -hmm. um, if you have any question, just let me know. Okay. 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 Yes. Uh, let me see. Have to have to answer all the email and uh, in the afternoon I has meeting with client or suppliers. How about you? Uh, my daily schedule it's uh, from seven to twelve. And some day in the afternoon, I work at two to four. Okay. All right. Okay. The second one is who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your company? Okay. Glenda, in charge. In charge. In, in charge. charge. Perfect. It's no. Now I can see your screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right now, yeah. You can see? Yeah. Okay. Resources. Yeah. They yeah. organize organizing the staff schedule in my company. Okay. That's good. Uh, in my case, it's the same way. Uh, uh, the human resource organize the schedules of the workers. Human and resource. Many... Yeah. Human resource. Yes, only one one time on month. I have um, I rest on Saturday, and that day I decided to rest. Uh, I decided. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. The day that I want. Okay, man. How much? Well, in, in Nelson, he, he only here or? I'm sorry, can you repeat that again? Okay. What is your daily schedule like at work? Uh, my daily schedule starts at 7.30 a.m. every day, ends until 4.30 p.m. I had uh, one lunch at 1 p.m., from 1 p.m. to 1.50. Um, because I'm working from home, I don't do too much than just wake up in the morning, then sit in the desk, stay the whole day, sit, and then stand up what I need to cook, uh, or when I need to watch my kids. So they pretty much this is my daily escape for because my home is my work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The next, the next question is who is in charge? Yeah, who is in charge for um, organizing? Organizing. Schedules. Mm -hmm in your company mm -hmm. let me write in my case uh, my boss my how can I say my jefe inmediato 
your principal boss. That's correct. Yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In my case, in my case, uh, my principal boss mm -hmm. organizing all of meetings because uh, we need to deploy a lot of a lot of uh, features in the in the system of the company, mm -hmm. and I need to to ¿cómo puedo decir acompañamiento? Mm. I need to follow up. o el seguimiento de follow I need to follow up I need to follow up to the provider um, I need to follow up with the provider ah ok I need to follow up with the provider mm -hmm. for example Mm -hmm. um, yes, that is correct. Or you need to, um, you can say, tiene que acompañar al proveedor, supongo que quiere decir. Sí, porque necesitamos acompañamiento mm -hmm. y nos distribuimos cargas. Vas vos aquí, vas vos, yo voy aquí, tienes mm -hmm. esto, nos unimos después en la otra y así. Entonces, mm -hmm. él es el que coordina eso. Yes, you can say it like that. Okay. In my in my case, the person that's organizing the organize organize okay organize the stuff schedule mm -hmm. uh, is the human resource resources mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. resource that they. Uh, That that person that person is the the organizing or or schedule and theory in the job. Okay. Jancy. And you, Jancy. I think that probably she, uh, she cannot uh, reply. Probably she is busy. Okay, the next question is how many hours per week do you uh, typical Typ or typically? Typically. 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 Typical. 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 Typically. Typically. Do you think this, yeah. this is Above, above, oh. or below average? Average. Why? Mm -hmm. huh. I don't understand. How, ah, understand. how many hours? Mm -hmm. Do you work? Mm -hmm. How many ah. hours do you work? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe 40, 45 or 46, maybe. So this is the average, right? Yes, it's the for hours or forty hours. The I average. think it's in the week for for El Salvador. Um, yeah, eight it's, a, it's a legal for day and a for five forty fourteen no forty 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 hours. Do you work but forty hours? I, uh, this hour uh, is spending a little <laughs> <laughs> always yes okay all right well let's go back to the main room okay let's go back okay okay see you later see you Uh, I think um, uh, who is in who is charge of organizing my start schedule is 
Recursos humanos. Uh -huh. No sé cómo yeah. decir recursos humanos. Me Human palabra. resource. Human resources. Okay. Human resources. Yes, human resources. Okay, so um, what is your schedule in at work, uh, Edwin? What is your schedule at work? My schedule at work is at um, seven o'clock to four forty-five. Oh, from seven a.m. to four forty-five p.m. Yes. Okay, got it. And what about your schedule, eh, Carlos Eduardo? What is your schedule at work? Uh, my schedule is from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. From Monday to Friday. Saturday, I work at 8 a.m. to uh, at noon. Okay, so from 8 a.m. till noon. Okay, perfect. And what about your schedule, Wilbur? Uh, my schedule is always it's around eight hours, but not always. But not always. No, 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 well, not always. Well, because we have to travel at um, Oriente. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we have, to we have to work at night because we have to install GPS. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But usually is a uh, forty-four minute, uh, forty-four hours. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So you need to you need to travel to to the east. Let's say like that. Yes. Or the east. Okay. All right. And who is in charge of organizing the staff schedules in your company, Glenda? Um. In the morning, the director is my my in charge. In the afternoon, I put my hours, my schedule, mm -hmm. because in the afternoon I work like as a private teacher. Oh, so great. I private teacher. Mm -hmm. So I I I choose the the hours. Got it. Okay, okay. Linda, repeat after me and say private. 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 Mm -hmm. Correct. Like that. Okay, that is cool. And what about you, Anna? Who is in charge of organizing staff schedules? In my case, it's a combination between my boss and me. Maybe uh, she uh, give me um, a long activities and I organize the time uh, for the day. Okay. For these activities. Okay, so she gives you. you. She gives me. <laughs> yes, perfect. Okay, guys, excellent. Let's move to the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance. So please say present. Eh, Ana Lorena Lovato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present. Thank you, Andrea. Eh, Blanca Jennifer. Present. Thank you, Blanca. Eh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Yes, thank you. Eh, Carlos Arias. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Eh, César Homero Amaya. César. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Thank you, Eulice. Fátima Noemi Umaña. Fátima. Eh, Glenda Toledo Leiva. Present. Thank you. Eh, José Salvador Bernal. I'm here. Thank you. Eh, Salvador Hosman Atilio Serrano. Present. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Karen Lisset Sánchez. Yes, Karen. Thank you. Catherine Velasquez. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander. Present. 
Thank you. Raúl Ernesto González. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez. Present. Thank you. Susana Milena. Present. Perfect. Eh, Walter David Díaz. Present. Thank you. Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And Jensi Azucena. Yes, I saw them. Let me see. And give me one second. Mm. Okay. All right, guys. So let's continue and let's move to the book. All right. So we are going to start by talking about um, the following. Give me one second. I'm waiting for this to load. Okay, so here we go. Uh, it's loading. A present here, present. Thank you, agency. All right, so I need two volunteers. One is going to be Jenny and the other one is going to be Ruben. So Wilbur, thank you. Be Ruben and Raul, Jenny. Sorry, teacher. Who am I? Oh, Ruben. Okay. Okay. Let's check, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start uh, covering for Gladys as the post is today from nine to eleven a.m. Then. You can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve the you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. For the reminder. Okay, guys. So let's see. Let's focus on vocabulary first. Okay. Very good with the pronunciation. Okay. It was good. So, what is the meaning of a uh, hostess? What is the meaning of that? Hostess? No? Um, okay. So, what is the meaning of host? Just host? Amphitryon. Okay. Now, hostess? Anfitriona. Anfitriona. Okay, very good. Yes. Um, now, if I say will do, what am I saying? Lo haré. Mm -hmm. Lo haré, right? What is a reminder? Explain to me reminder in English. What is it? Uh, maybe say, well, Thanks for 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 someone tell you uh, something about maybe you forgot and mm -hmm. when they tell you mm -hmm. you can remind them that thing. Oh, <laughs> you can remind. Okay. Remind. Okay. okay. Yes. All right. Yes. A reminder is basically something that helps you to remind right to remember about something yeah so for example if i send a reminder to you to the whatsapp group hey guys please complete the platform this is just a reminder that is a reminder Un recordatorio. Recordatorio. perfect thank you karen yes uh -huh. so now Let's match the names of the staff members to the right description. So we have five, executive chef, server, host or hostess, kitchen manager and cashier. Okay, so let's uh, match the names. What do you think the first description is? Here. First cashier. Cashier. Okay. Excellent. It is a cashier. That is number five. Okay, let's add it right there. What about number two? Kitchen manager. 
Okay, a person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff, and standards. Mm. Yeah. Executive chef. Yes, that is correct. Executive chef. What about the description number three? Uh, help us reading description number three, Salvador. Excuse me? Help us reading the description number three. Read this. A person who hires staff purchase food and make sure everyone is trained. Is trained. Trained. Excellent, yes, exactly. Uh -huh. Server, kitchen manager, very good. A person who hires a staff number two. purchases food. Okay. This and number four. Server. server. Okay. Uh, will uh, Walter help us reading the description for a server? A waiter or waitress who attends customer with food and drink. Perfect, thank you. So a waiter or waitress who attends customers with food and drink. And the last one, help us read in the definition, Susana. Host, a person who greets a reading guest, welcomes them into the restaurant and seats them. Thank you, pronunciation, all right? Just arriving. Arriving. Perfect, okay, arriving. Excellent, guys, okay? So we have five descriptions right there, okay? Now, let me ask you, according to the conversation, I'm going to ask you three questions, okay? According to this conversation, when does Jenny's shift start? Can you tell me? When does Jenny's shift start? When? According to the description, uh, the conversation. Maybe in a uh, hotel. Uh, okay. But when? Ah, uh, when? No, I'm. Night to night to eleven, and then. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Yes. And what is Jenny's job in the restaurant? What do you think? What profession do you think she is? Server. Okay. A server. Okay. And what does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? Serve the dishes. Okay, serve. Okay, serve. Yeah, serve. Yes, yeah, serve. I think the the morning she covering someone. She's covering someone. Like um, I don't, I don't understand what is the position. Oh, okay. yeah. In this case, she is a server. So it's server too. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. But but, uh, but she is like uh, as a as a support. Be correct. Yeah, because she starts covering Gladys. Teacher, Gladys. I have a question. Uh -huh. In the in the word host and hottest Hostess? is for gender. Yes, correct. It's about uh okay. genders. Yeah, host is for male and hostess is for female. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, it's about gender. That is correct. Okay, so now let's move. Give me one second. Yes. 
Okay, let's move to vocabulary. Okay, oh, let me erase that. Okay, we, all, we already have a work schedule. Can you please help us reading the definition for work schedule, um, Wilbur? The time of the day when a person works. Oh, no, work schedule. Okay, a small period of time when a person can stop working with the rest. Mm. Okay, um, not exactly, Wilbur, because we already have work schedule. If you see, we have um, the definition already. <laughs> okay, Don't worry. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, okay. A chart that presents a list of employees, the days of the week and time of the day they are required to work. Perfect, thank you. Okay, a chart. What is a chart? What is a chart? Like a board? Yes. A, a, list. Mm -hmm. a Y bar. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, like, a, yes, a board, um, a square, right? A chart es un cuadro, guys, yeah? A chart es un cuadro de cualquier tipo de cuadro que usted haga en Excel, en Word document, whatever. A chart, you create charts. For scheduling, you create charts, okay? Um, if you have an agenda, you create charts, etc. So what is break? A small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Perfect. What is shift? Shift. The time of the day when a person works. Excellent. And what is overtime? When you work more than the regular working hours in a day or week. And what is called in? To telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Excellent. Absent. Uh, absent. Absent, okay. Absent. What is the meaning of the absent? Absent means ausente. Yes. Absent okay. means ausent, yes. Okay, let me ask you guys, do you do overtime? Do you do overtime at work? Usually. Always. Always, usually. Okay. Every single day. Every single day, okay. All right. Normal day. Very often. A normal day, okay. So let me ask you then, do you have breaks during your day? Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. All right. It's necessary. It's necessary. And someone calling when you are in lunch. Lunch. Okay. Yes. When you are at lunch, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody calls you. Okay. All right. So I can see that you are really hard working. Yeah. You do overtime. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. So now we are going to work on teams. We are going to look at the schedule and we are going to answer the questions below, yeah? So we have um, this schedule from uh, Laura, Thomas, Sofia, and Carlos, yeah? So we have Tuesday, September 5th, September 6th, September 7th, September 8th, and September 9th. So we have five questions. You need to analyze this chart. This is a chart. Okay, so you need to analyze this chart and you are going to answer those questions. The first one is, who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to Fridays? When is the, dish, uh, the dishwasher's day off, according to this schedule? How long is Thomas' break? What is Sophia's job in the restaurant and when is her vacation? And then number five, when is Carlos' Carlos on training and what is his schedule on Fridays? Yeah, according to this schedule. So I'll give you around five minutes so you can go ahead and work as a team and answer those five questions, okay? So let's move. 
Dice number four. Blanca Englenga Rafael. Okay. Do you need the link for the class? I made a, a, a screen. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Perfect. Ya veremos. Okay. No comparte el link. Yeah, eh, there you go. If you need the link for the mm -hmm. class, um, I send it, okay, in the chat. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Let me see. Okay. okay. China server server. I think the do you have any question? Because Blanca is not here, right? So Glenda, I'm going to move you. I'm going to move okay. you. Thank you. Yes, I'm going to move you, Linda, in room six. Access to the, the porches. Tienen acceso? They, they have, have access. access. Uh, they have access to the porches, mm -hmm. to the bills, and, and have money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think it's Laura. But I, I don't know. <laughs> Laura, what? That's one. Uh, when is Carlos on training? What is his schedule on Fridays? Uh, okay. But. Uh, the other people only have activities uh, this washing, bartender, server, training. Okay. For this reason, I think that is Laura. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes and thirty minutes. How long is the moment? Thirty minutes. Yeah, thirty minutes. Every mm. day had thirty minutes break. And what is Sophia's job in the restaurant? When is her vacation? Bartender. She is bartender. bartender. She is bartender. Vacation is on Friday and Saturday. And when mm. is Carlo on training? Where is his schedule on Friday? Carlos. Mm. Training, when training, Monday, Tuesday. Carlos. training. And Friday is server from 8 to 7 p.m. and one hour break. That was easy. Yeah, the number five, how would it be? Number five. The number five, yeah. Uh, his training is on Tuesday from mm -hmm. 8 a.m to 6 p.m. And on Friday, he served from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and one hour break. Mm -hmm. 
You're done? You finish? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's go back. Okay. So let's see, guys. I'm going to ask you uh, the questions. Let me ask you, who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to Fridays? Who? Laura. Laura. Very good. And when is the dishwasher's day off? Wednesday. On Wednesday. Perfect. Yes, Wednesday. And what about how long is Thomas break? 30 minutes. It is 30 minutes. Perfect. And what about number four? What is Sophia's job in the restaurant? And when? Bartender. Bartender. From Thursday to Thursday. Okay. From, okay. Let's see. From? Sophia. Friday. Uh -huh. Her vacation are in Friday and Saturday. Okay, now let's say on, on Friday, okay? On Friday and Saturday. on Saturday. Excellent. And what about number five? When is Carlos on training? Tuesday, on Tuesday. On Tuesday? Okay. Tuesday. Now, what is his schedule on Fridays? His server from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. And had a one hour break. Okay, very good. So in this case, this is the profession. Okay, sorry, Barry. Sorry, but Barry. if we want to say that he serves, right, it is uh, with it serves because it is the verb. Yeah. Now, guys, do not forget that whenever you want to talk about um, days, we are going to say on Monday on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, and on Sunday. Never in and never da, okay? Never. Always on. If you want to say, el lunes, el lunes voy a ir. I'm going to go on Monday. Yeah? On, always. Never the Monday, never in Monday, never. Yeah? So now let's move and we are going to work on this one. Yeah. Sarah's schedule. And we have eight questions. And again, you need to answer those eight questions according to the schedule. I'll give you around five minutes again, and then we are going to come back and we are going to take the first quiz. Okay. So right now let's move and let's work on this one. Okay. The same teams. What is Sarah's plan for Monday morning? <sighs> See the doctor. The play of Sarah. See the doctor. See the doctor. How many times? Plan for Monday morning. Monday morning. See the doctor. The first. What is our plan for Monday morning? Mm -hmm. How many times is Sarah going to go to the gym? The next quick, okay. One, two, three, three times. 
Uh, ah, Friday too. Yeah. Tuesday, I only... Tuesday Wednesday, and, and Friday. Friday, Friday yes. in the morning, yeah. Yes. Tuesday and Wednesday, she go to the gym in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have a party. The next, let me see. Who is Sarah going to see a movie with? Uh, Monday. Sally. With Sally. Yeah. Uh, on Monday. Movie with Sally. Okay. Uh, number five. What is Sarah going to do on Friday evening? Evening. She ha she have dinner okay. with with her parents. With parents. She she is going to have. She is going to have dinner with parents. With she her is, parents. With her parents. Mm -hmm. Okay. With the her. number six. What is Sarah going to do on Saturday before her party? Saturday. Nothing. Her party. Mm. Ah, no, before I think after. Yeah. So before she cook, prepare for she is for going party. to cook. She is going to cook. Prepare for number seven. For what is Sarah going to do on Thursday afternoon? Thursday after Thursday afternoon. After She's going to attend the conference. Yeah, okay. attend a conference. Um, attend conference. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the last one, what is Sara going to buy for the next week? The next week. Day. Uh, groceries. <laughs> Sara is going to buy groceries. Monday, on Monday, uh, on Monday, and let me see. Uh, ah, on Friday. Friday. Buy food for party. Yes. Yeah, Monday and Friday, in on afternoon. Okay. By for she has place. a lot of dinner, a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> so we're right. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay, let me ask you, what is Sarah's plan for Monday morning? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is Sarah's plan for Monday morning? See her doctor. She, see she is doctor. going to see the doctor. Okay, very good. She's going to see the doctor. Perfect. And what about how many times is Sarah going to go to the gym next week? She How? got three days of the week. She's going to the gym three times. Okay, she is going to the gym three times, all right, or three days. Okay, and what about number three? What is Sarah going to do on Saturday evening? She is going to have a party. She is going to have a party, yes. And who is Sarah going to see a movie with? She is going to see a movie with Sally. Sally. Sally, perfect. And what is Sarah going to do on Friday evening? She is going to have a dinner with her with parents. With her parents, perfect. With yes. And what about number six? What is Sarah going to do on Saturday before her party? She's going, going to cook. So part for party. Yes, and then she's going to prepare for the party. Excellent. And what is Sarah going to do on Thursday afternoon? 
She is going to attend the conference. She is going to attend the conference. Perfect. And the last one. What is Sarah going to buy for the next week? She is going to buy groceries for the week. Excellent. Very good. So she is, she is a really busy woman, right? Okay. So now, guys, let's move and let's take the first quiz, which is about vocabulary. Yeah. So as you can see, I send it on the chat. And for the ones that probably are going to take it from the spreadsheet is the vocabulary quiz. The listening, not yet. Okay. The vocabulary quiz. Read the instructions. Right. Read the instructions. Okay. This is about vocabulary. This is about what you um, know. Mm -hmm. Let me know once you are done. Okay, I got Rafael, I got Raul, I got Salvador. Let me see. Mm Gracias. Teacher. Yes, I got Anna. Yes. How can I say in English Fontanero? <laughs> 
Well, okay, I got Glenda. Let's see, I'm going to ask um, <laughs> Susana, how do you say fontanelle in English? Plumber. Plumber. Oh, thank you. Okay, I got Walter. I got Rose. Perfect. Most of you got 100. Most of you. Uh, some of you made a mistake with some spelling. You missed some letters. Uh, some of you added a different word. If it is a synonym, don't worry, okay? Eh, let me see. I will Walter. Yo les agregué punto y ahí me salió eso. Nelson, okay. So let me see. Yes, okay. So. Pero es correcto agregarle el punto. I had a question. Turn out, yes. I don't know one of them. So I. Uh, so I will send to you the answer, but the web don't let me because I, I had to file it. Um, add just a period. Yeah, to the ones that you don't know, just a period. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Wilbur, let me see. Plumber, yeah, armor, okay. All right, guys, so don't worry. This is just for you to practice vocabulary, okay? So well done for the ones that got 100. Okay, if you made a, if, if you made a mistake with the spelling, be careful with that, okay? Uh, remember that we add period just to the end of the sentence, okay? Um, but okay, very good. I can see that some of you, some of you added synonyms, right? Not exactly the word that was right there, but you used a synonym. So if the synonym is correct, the answer is correct. Yeah, even though it is not the one that we added right there. Okay. And, okay. And plumber, um, it is. It is spelled like P L U M B E R, like plumber, but the B is silence, so you do not pronounce it. You say plumber. Okay. All right. So now let's move and let's start with um, the following topic. Okay. So today we are going to learn how to create sentences and uh, how to make comparisons with us plus us yeah so let me see um wilbur help us reading all of this information comparison with uh, us plus us we we use as plus adjective plus as to make comparison when the things we are comparing mm -hmm. are equal in some way. Okay. Oscar is as old as I am. Bruno is as playful as Rex. The boots are as large as the shoes. Lucia is beautiful as Monica. Perfect, thank you. Wilbur, repeat after me and say comparisons. Comparisons. Perfect, okay. Comparisons. So, yes, okay. um, we are talking about comparisons, guys, because we are um, studying adjectives. So this is a topic that is related to adjectives. So. Now, we can make this type of comparisons whenever things we are comparing are equal in some way. Equal, yeah? Remember that we already covered the comparative adjectives, but it is not the same because the comparative adjectives, you are saying that one is, for example, cheaper than the other one, that one is more expensive than the other one. 
Yeah, but this type of comparison, you are comparing two things that are equal in some way. For example, Oscar is as old as I am. That means Oscar is tan mayor como yo. You are comparing equal. Yeah. Now, Bruno is as playful as Rex. They are equal. They are really playful. Both of them. Both. Ambos. Yeah. So then we also have the boots are as large as the shoes. Las botas son tan grandes como los zapatos. They are equal. They are the same size. Yeah. Lucia is as beautiful as Monica. Yeah, Lucia is tan bonita como Monica. Equal. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any question? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, so if I want to say, guys, um, Juan is tan inteligente como Marcos. Juan is as clever, clever, clever as Marcos. Okay, very good. Yeah. Now. Can you please create one sentence using this structure and send it to the chat? Positive sentence like this, like the ones that we have seen right now. One sentence. Do not forget about punctuation marks. A period at the end. And if you are starting the sentence, use capital letter. Sí. Mm, Raúl, period. My sister is as clean as my brother. Perfect, Susana. Excellent. Mm -hmm. My son is as is as smart as my wife. Yes, excellent, Wilbert. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Lo podría utilizar en el caso de mi prima cumple años el mismo día que yo. No. Eh, no. Okay. Thank you. All right. Usually, you you use uh, this comparison uh, when this you, comparison this comparison. Sorry, uh, when you are talking about a uh, uh, quality of uh, things, of a person, etc. Perfect. Yes. Thank you, Wilbur. That is correct. What Wilbur said. Um, you usually use it whenever you are talking about um, qualities, right? When you are using adjectives. Hmm? Let's see. Uh, my mother is as fast as my sister. Yes, but my sister should go in capital letters, okay? The letter M, capital, uh, sorry, lowercase, lowercase. Uh, my brother is as fast. Funny as I am. Yes, Glenda. Uh, my mother is as happy as my um, as my father or as my father. And period. Period. Okay. At the end of the sentence. Uh, today is as beautiful as yesterday. Perfect. Yes, my brother. Danny is as small as Alex. Okay. Um, Karen, in this case, whenever we are using, um, for example, if you want to say que alguien es tan pequeño como otra persona, we are not going to use small. A small, we use it for animals, yeah? 
Para personas, cuando queremos decir que alguien es pequeño, vamos a decir que alguien es short. All right? Small es para animales nada más. Mariana is as responsible as Valeria. Period, Walter. My friend is as tall as me. Okay, perfect. My sister is as tall as Veronica. Hosman, period. El punto y final. Uh, okay, period. Period at the end. Um, okay. And then we also have... Um, say, Zeus is as broken as Bruno. Period. Punto. Punto y final. Okay, so I can see that uh, most of you, Danny is as short as, yes, perfect. Do not forget about period. Okay, now, Postman, can you please help us reading all of this? Okay, comparison with not us, and us. We not us, and adjectives us. To make comparison between uh, things that are in equal. Mm -hmm. Oscar is not as whole as I am. Bruno is not as playful as Rex. Mm -hmm. The boots are not as large as the shoes. Mm -hmm. Lucia is not is, uh, as beautiful as Monica. Okay, thank you. Okay, once again, uh, Hosman, repeat after me and say comparisons. Comparison. Yes. Okay, guys, so we already covered positive, but we can also create negative sentences, okay? When things are not equal. And as you can see, we have Oscar is not as old as I am. Oscar no es tan mayor como yo. Yeah? So negative, they are not equal, yeah? So Bruno is not as playful as Rex. The boots are not as large as the shoes. Lucia is not as beautiful as Monica, okay? Now, Teacher, yes. If for example, is I use only one as, mm -hmm. is incorrect, for example, mm -hmm. Oscar is not all as I am. Oscar is not all as I am. It is correct. It is correct always or yes. incorrect. It is correct. But okay. it's another type of uh, grammatical structure. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I... Yeah, but it is correct. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Very good. Thank you. All right. So then this is um, as plus as, right? But yes, you are correct as well. So in this case, I need you to please create a sentence using this structure, but in negative. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes, Ana. Okay, Carlos Eduardo. Just Manuel with capital letter. Letter M. My friend is not. Okay. My brother is not as soon as him. Black is not as soon as him. Mm -hmm. Yes, the cars are not as cheap.
Um, in this case, Rafael, cheap, base form of the adjective. Uh, Raúl, in this case, my dog is not big, it's not big as well. Um, just be base form of the adjective. Because okay. if not, we need to use the other structure. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay. Yes. Okay, I am not as hardworking, hardworking. All right, Walter. And the dress is not as pretty as the skirt, so it's not as bad. Okay. All right. Don't forget the period. El punto y final, okay? Very good. So, guys, those are two ways of you. Um, I am not answering. Correct. Okay. So those are two ways in which you can go ahead and create comparisons. Yeah. When two things are equal. Yeah. Or when two things are not equal. Right. Those are different structures. Yeah. That you can use. Yes. Do you have any doubt right now? Not right now. Okay, so now then let's take the listening quiz. Okay, now yes, let's take the listening. Uh, let me let me um, share that the link. Okay, for the ones that are not uh, in the spreadsheet, there you go. Here in the chat, and the passcode is listening. Okay, listening capital letters. And let me share the the sound okay guys let me know once you are in please teacher excuse me yes uh you send the link uh the chart uh, uh soon yeah oh but uh, i can see it you can see it okay let me resend it uh you are in this Okay, yeah. I'm yes. in. I have a question. I am. Yes, tell me. Uh, okay, yes, tell me. Uh, when you translate the sentence uh, in Spanish, it's like, se escucha como que si estoy presumiendo, but it's not the case, no. right? That's correct. No. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eulisa, did you get it? Teacher, I don't see the link. You don't see the link either? Uh, I can. I can. Neither. Let me resend it and let me. We'll learn. No. No. And what about now? I send a direct message. On the top of the chat. Mm. Es que al inicio del chat aparece. Al inicio. Entonces no, creo que. Arriba de la uh, O sea que es okay. al revés, right? Yes. Okay. So weird. Pero creo que puede hacer, teacher. Es. Creo que se puede pinear. Ah, really? O ar. Ah, tiene un nombre eso. Pero ajá, creo que sí me entiende, ¿verdad? Se le puede yes. poner un pin al mensaje y ya de ahí solo lo podemos buscar como un poquito mm -hmm. más rápido. Mm -hmm. Let me see, let me see. I can see the link. No. Let me see. Um, is the fair? Ah, oh, no, is this... Mm -hmm. No. 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 Ahí en el chat, en ese mensaje pueden pinear ese mensaje, valga la redundancia, <ríe> y, y, y dejarlo ya para que se busque un poquito más rápido. No lo encuentro. Ya um, lo puse en el chat. 
in uh, you can say like pin it like pin yeah. it. Uh -huh. uh, well if not you can go to the um to the um, a spreadsheet you will find it right there okay remember that you can also go to the spreadsheet guys you have it right here mm -hmm. yeah. okay and sometimes maybe the the, um, the internet connection right it takes a long time for you to get the message because of that it could be Okay, ready? No. No, not yet. No, not yet. All right. But yes, this is my connection. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do tomorrow? I'm going to send the, the links before class. Okay, so you can have them on the on the WhatsApp group. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, awesome. Thank you. Um. Okay. Susana, ready? No, not yet. Yeah, I think that is her even a connection. Vocabulary quiz? No, it's the listening. No. Okay. Let me see this. I can uh, see this. Uh, I'm going to that. highlight it. Probably you will see it in that way. Um, it's the yellow one. Okay. Thanks. All right. Okay, I'm in. Okay, perfect. So here we go, guys. Let's pay attention. Hey, James. James, what's wrong? You don't look well at all. What's going on? What's up? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I think I just have a bad cold. That's no, all. you don't look like you have a bad cold. You look terrible what you, your skin oh my gosh look it looks a little purple what what are you talking about oh no james oh no let me look oh look right here right here here it is it talks about it i saw this on the internet it says right here what, what? You got. yeah it says if you have purple skin purple you've got purple skin look in the mirror it says it is a sign of a rare disease called the Burafa virus. Burafa virus? I've never heard of that. Well, Come on. You're you just aren't well read like I am. <laughs> look. Just have a look. What? Oh. What is this website? Come on, look. The owner is a well-known psychic named Dr. Simon. A, a psychic? What in the world makes this psychic a medical expert anyway? Well, um, I don't know, but he says on his blog that he loves working with animals. Animals? What about humans? Forget it. I mean... <clears throat> oh, no! What? Wait, wait, wait. Let me look. Let me look. <coughs> oh, no. What? He said something about that cough. Oh, it's just a simple cough. No, it's not. It's another symptom for the Barafa virus. You cough twice. Not once or three times. You cough twice, and that's a clear sign of the disease. That's you have, nonsense. You, you have the Barafa virus. It says so right here. So what else does the website say? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Oh, James. <laughs> what? It 
says that once the cough sets in, the person only has only, only, oh, only a week to live. I've had enough. You're spending too much time online. Okay. Again, okay? The second time. Hey, James. James, what's wrong? You don't look well at all. What's going on? What's up? Oh, <clears throat> I think I just have a bad cold. That's no, all. Oh, you don't look like you have a bad cold. You look terrible. What? You, your skin. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> look, it looks a little purple. What? What are you talking about? Oh, no, James. Oh, no. Let me look. Oh, look right here, right here. Here it is. It talks about it. I saw this on the internet. It says right here what, what? you got. Yeah, it says if you have purple skin. Purple? You've got purple skin. Look in the mirror. It says it is a sign of a rare disease called the Burafa virus. Burafa? Barafa virus? I've never heard of that. Well, Come on. You're just, you just aren't well read like I am. <laughs> look. Just have a look. What? Oh. What is this website? Come on, look. The owner is a well-known psychic named Dr. Simon. A, a psychic? What in the world makes this psychic a medical expert anyway? Well, um... I don't know, but he says on his blog that he loves working with animals. Animals? What about humans? Forget it. I mean... <clears throat> oh, no! What? Wait, wait, wait. Let me look. Let me look. <coughs> oh, no. What? He said something about that cough. Oh, it's just a simple cough. No, it's not. It's another symptom for the Barafa virus. You cough twice. Not once or three times. You cough twice, and that's a clear sign of the disease. That's you have, nonsense. You, you have the Barafa virus. It says so right here. So what else does the website say? Oh, no. Wh oh, no. What? Oh, James. <laughs> what? It says that once the cough sets in, the person only has only, only, oh, only a week to live. I've had enough. You're spending too much time online. Okay, guys. Ready? Perfect. Okay. Submit your answers. Okay, let me see. Teacher, I have a question. <laughs> yes, tell me. What is the virus? I don't understand the Barafa. Me too. Uh, something. Barafa virus. Barafa? Barafa. How do you spell it? Is, uh, it is like B U R A F A. Mm. Any that, meaning? That doctor's works at Seguro. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like um, it's like, it's not Barafa. like COVID. Yes, it's type of. Um, Cough. It's a stranger name. Yes, I know. I know. Okay, let me see. Barafa. <laughs> the psychic of animals. That, that sounds <laughs> like my name. <laughs> Come on. Barafa. <laughs> okay. But yes, that's that's actually the, the illness, right? Mm -hmm. Did you hear one of the symptoms, the common symptoms? Cough twice. Cough twice. Purple skin. Purple skin. Yeah. Can you imagine? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so let me see. Very good. I, I can see that some of you got 100. Okay. 80. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay. Awesome, guys. So now let's move and let's continue with. Uh, speaking okay just because of the time i think that we're going to speak just for eight minutes something like that but first we are going to talk about uh vocabulary okay so let's go ahead and take a look at those images and let me ask you what is picture number one uh, i think it's apps apps those are apps okay what about number two um, calendar. Calendar no. to list okay, I know. Color. Uh, agenda. What? 
No. To do list. To do list. All right. So this one, guys, as you can see, those um what um those labels, okay? Those are called color coding. Uh, those things are color coding or category okay. yes exactly. yeah. what about number three what is this diary diary what about diary. this one uh, it's a schedule. It's a schedule. this one calendar, calendar. and this um, one to to list. List. To list. okay do you use color coding when you are taking yes. notes or no, probably no. on your agenda? In my email, yes. The, in right. calendar, in Google Calendar. Google in Calendar. Google. Google. Word. Right. So useful, right? That is so useful. Yeah. And you make your, your to-do list more interactive, right? I think that it is beautiful to see a lot of colors, right? Okay. To mark the priority. Exactly. Okay. And now... Talking about priorities, okay, what are your usual priorities during your working day? For me, me uh, the emergencies. All right. Uh -huh. Finish my, my, my to-dos of the day. Excellent. Attend the requirements. At the requirements, finishing to-do list, mm -hmm. finishing your tasks, right? Yes. Excellent, okay. And now let me ask you something. What action do you take when something urgent but unexpected happens at work? What action do you take? Mm -hmm. What do you do in that situation? Do you work overtime? What action do you take? Yeah. Nothing. You use informer. Uh -huh. Informer the boss. Inform the boss. I convert this this urgent in my priority. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Maybe check the problem and research uh, the possible uh, solution. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So you take action by uh, researching any type of solution. Perfect. You inform to somebody. Yeah. Excellent. And how, how do you measure the progress you are making with a project? Uh -huh. How do you measure yourself? Yeah. What does mean measure, teacher? Measure. Medida. Medir. Maybe KPA? Okay, KPIs. Okay. KPIs. Okay, very good. Um, all right, yes. It is a good um, way to measure your progress. But talking about during the day in a project, I use a platform mm -hmm. called uh, Notion and another. Uh, let me see the name. Notion. Okay. Let me see the name. I forgot it. Notion and Trello, and I put oh, my no. my to dos. Uh, for to do's of the day in mm -hmm. progress, finish, uh, stocks. Okay. And with my team, they see my activity. If I work in progress in something, I only move a car and I put in progress. And when I finish, I move to the tab of finish. Mm -hmm. And they see what I do in my day. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that is a really good way to measure your progress, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, very good. Now, money is more important than love. Yes or no? What do you think? <laughs> 
Is depend on kind to the law. <laughs> it depends on the kind of law. Okay. Because uh, the, the other's law is how many kinds of laws there are. Because yeah, how many kind of laws? Law. Yeah, how many kind of laws there are? Yeah, how many kind of laws? So what do you think? You don't eat just with love. Okay, you don't eat just with love. Okay. All right. So for you, Susana, money is more important than love. Uh, yeah, but it's important to fall in love with that person. Okay. Uh -huh. Al menos feel attraction. Okay. <laughs> you can live. You can. <laughs> that is my opinion. Yes. You can live for, for let me see. You can live. Uh, only for love, you need money. So, is is the band? Okay. Okay. Susana, in order for you to say al menos, you can say at least. Ah, okay. At, at least. least. At least. Okay. At least to feel attraction. At least. Okay. L e a s t. Least. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what I about you? I agree with Anna. You agree with Anna. Okay. So I think that you all think that money is more important than love. I think that you all think that. Okay. <laughs> now, personality is more important than beauty. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> yes, it's more I agree with Anna. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Rafael. Yeah, the beauty, the beauty is a moment in your life mm -hmm. when you have a, a sixteen years old. The beauty is gone. And it disappears. Oh, and disappear. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. and the personality, personality is. ¿Cómo se dice? Permanece. Mm, vocabulary, the one that we studied at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Everlast endurance. 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 No. endurance. Everlasting. 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 Eternal. Eternal. Mm -hmm. No. No, the <laughs> okay. personality for me, the personality can can be changed. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the your personality now is more different when uh when you was a kid. When you were a kid. Yeah, if you see the the person who you are 10 years ago, you, you were he's a, 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 a different kid, person. A yeah. different person is more dominant than, than you are now. Okay, all right. Like, complete. Okay, perfect. So, okay, well done. I think that I agree, okay, with all of you. Okay, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here because it's already 10 p.m., but tomorrow we are going to continue with conversation, okay? So then, uh, please, the only person that please stay, let me see if we have, do we have a Karen? Karen, are you here? Yes, teacher. Okay, please stay with me, okay? Okay. All right, then the other ones, Thank you guys for connecting and being responsible. I will see you back tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. Have Bye. a good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Take care with the I'll see papayos. you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Take care. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Um. All right. Uh, Karen. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? How do you feel today, Karen? ¿Cómo está? I'm fine. You're I'm fine? fine. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Perfect, Karen. So, you know, today we are going to have this feedback. This is just a short feedback for just 10 minutes. But I would like to ask you a couple of questions because for us, it's really important to have your feedback. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to ask you is how do you feel with the English classes? If you can tell me a little bit about your experience with English classes, 
how long have you been learning English, right? Your experience and everything. Um, I try speaking English teacher. Of course. Mm -hmm. And I, I begin English in the last year. And uh, for, in my case, I difficult listening. Mm -hmm. And I need practice uh, talking. Uh, speaking, okay. Speaking, yes. Okay. Speaking. Uh, for a moment, I confuse him. Uh, uh, the thing it's talking is uh, the speaking. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Karen, you know, it is really understandable that you feel like uh, confused sometimes, right? Um, but I think that it is really good that you are here and that you are practicing, right? Um, okay. So, now. Um, I would like to hear your opinion, but in Spanish, about the following, okay? okay? Can you tell me what do you think about the dynamic of our class, okay? Of our class, how do you feel with the dynamic? How do you feel with the activities? How do you feel with the listening, with the grammar? Um, in general, about our classes, okay? Okay. Bueno, en lo, en lo personal, me gusta mucho su clase. La siento súper amena, súper divertida. Eh, a veces lo que usted piensa que no estoy poniendo atención, sí estoy poniendo atención y la mayoría de las veces estoy en silencio porque tengo un bebé de dos años. Entonces a veces está llorando en medio de la clase. Entonces sé que yo me puedo distraer en ese momento, pero no quiero distraer a los demás. Pero en lo personal, Sí, eh, sí, créanme que estoy aprendiendo bastante con los quiz, con las prácticas y todo. Sí, siento que me está funcionando, me está ayudando y a pesar de que por momentos sí me quedo callada por lo mismo, ¿verdad? Pero sí siento que estoy aprendiendo bastante y me gusta la dinámica. Me gusta la dinámica porque, bueno, en lo personal eh, creo que desde diciembre es que he iniciado con dos horas clase. Entonces, para mí... Ese cambio sí fue pesado más que todo por mi bebé, sí. porque este, él ya se queda hasta las 10 despierto. Entonces, eh, prácticamente recibe la clase conmigo, por así decirlo. Entonces, pero, pero en lo personal, sí, 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 me gusta mucho la dinámica. Ok, ahora cuénteme, ¿cuánto tiempo tiene ya de estudiar el idioma? Fíjese que desde el año pasado, en junio. Y comenzó con nosotros, con, con inglés corporativo. Sí. Ok, ok. Vale, perfecto. Y en su tiempo libre, ¿qué hace? Fíjese que, bueno, es, bueno yo estoy tratando de estar escuchando música en inglés. Eh, estoy tratando de ver series para adaptarme a, a, a la pronunciación, el, el listening que sí siento que, que por momentos se me pierdo bastante. Estoy tratando bastante de empaparme en, en, en escuchar mucho inglés. Ok, perfecto. Ok, ahora, en, en, en ese caso me comenta que las habilidades que más le cuesta como en ese momento es listening y es speaking, ¿verdad? Sí. Vale. Eh, bueno, con lo del listening, mi recomendación es que exactamente lo que usted hace de escuchar música en inglés, lo haga frecuentemente. E incluso cuando usted ya se vaya a dormir, trate de escuchar un audio en inglés. Eh, yo les compartí una página en el WhatsApp, no sé si eh, usted la verificó, pero ahí está. Esa página tiene listenings cortos que usted puede verificar y puede escuchar y puede hacer los exámenes ahí mismo. Entonces, para que usted vaya ya desarrollando el listening, ¿verdad? Porque las canciones nos ayudan. Sin embargo, también hay diferente tipo de, de canción que a veces tal vez la gramática no es la correcta, la que utilizan. En cambio, en un examen o en el link que yo le mandé, va a verificar, 
Básicamente son exámenes para que usted desarrolle la habilidad de listening. Entonces le aconsejo que lo pueda como realizar. En lo de speaking, en ese caso, pues si usted ya se fijó, la mayor parte de la clase trato de hacerla como eh, speaking, ¿verdad? Como que para que participen. Eh, en ocasiones, como usted ya me lo comentó, eh, está siempre como en mute, ¿verdad? O, o, o casi no, pues eh, la veo eh, con la cámara encendida, pero es por lo mismo que usted tiene un bebé y eso es muy eh, entendible, ¿verdad? Pero ya que usted me dice, teacher, yo siempre estoy ahí poniendo atención, ¿ok? Entonces yo pues ya estoy consciente que usted está ahí. Eh, ahora, ¿hay alguna pregunta con algún tema que no haya comprendido? ¿Ha tenido inconvenientes con la plataforma? Que sé que por el momento con la plataforma, eh, de momento estoy bien, estoy tratando de ir al día. Y quiero ver de tema, teacher. Sí, estuve repasando un tema, pero fue un día que me conecté un poco tarde. Quiero recordarme cuál fue. El de Waldo. En ese me conecté un poco tarde. Ah, y también, sí, pero solamente le, le, le quiero comentar, fíjese que con Zoom sí estoy teniendo problemas al momento que nos vamos a los break rooms, me está sacando. Entonces estoy, o sea, me saca y tengo que estar entrando, pero a veces eh, tengo que entrar dos o tres veces. Entonces eh, ahí se estoy perdiendo, siento que estoy perdiendo mucho tiempo, pero ya actualicé la Zoom, pero siempre me está brindando ese mismo problema. Ok, sí. Fíjense de que en ocasiones lo que sucede con lo de Zoom es por la conexión de internet, que por eso lo sacan. Entonces, lo que voy a tratar de hacer, eh, lo que vamos a tratar de hacer, mmm, voy a ver eh, si, bueno, ahora que sí subimos como, nos fuimos a salones más, como más seguidamente. En realidad, a veces solo los mando una vez cuando es lo de speaking, ¿verdad? Y ahí, pues ahí están. Entonces, quizás lo que vamos a hacer es eh, tratar de no mandarlos como muchas veces para que no les surja ese inconveniente. Tal vez así lo podemos como reducir, ¿verdad? Pero es más que todo por el internet. De, ah, incluso, okay, okay. Es que yo también tengo problemas de internet porque me veo así como que eh, bien despacio. Entonces, eh, es, por, es por la hora o es por la zona en ocasiones, ¿verdad? Vaya, ahora, en cuestión a lo de, lo de Wood, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué exactamente tiene de, de duda? Fíjese que era más que todo en el, eh, en el negativo. Pure en B. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok, wouldn't be, básicamente, eh, Karen, es como decir, um, wouldn't, wouldn't, um, let me see, le voy a explicar, pero voy a, a, a compartirle la, la presentación para que la pueda ver y no nos confundamos. Deme un segundo. Bye. Voy a compartir esto. ¿Usted me escucha bien? Sí, sí. Ah, vale. Sí, es que. Es que sí, es que Zoom da problemas, pero con el, el internet. Vale. Mire, si usted se fija aquí. ¿Verdad? Eh, esa fue la clase de, uh, no recuerdo de qué clase, a ah, la 8. Ok, vaya. Mire, si usted se fija, tenemos eh, básicamente las oraciones positivas, ¿verdad? Y también tenemos la pregunta. Sí, que la pregunta es donde hacemos la negativa. Wouldn't it be nice to go to Santa Ana? Es decir, wouldn't it be nice es como decir, no sería, eh, no sería bueno que fuéramos a Santa Ana. El wouldn't it es como no sería. Es como una duda, como una sugerencia. Uh -huh. 
eh, si usted, por ejemplo, eh, quisiera decir, no sería bueno, eh, no sería bueno que comiéramos pollo. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be nice to eat chicken? Wouldn't it be nice to drink chocolate? Esa es como una sugerencia de, no sería bueno que eh, estudiaras inglés. No sería bueno que estudiaras inglés. Ese negativo. Wouldn't it be nice to study English? ¿Ya? Eh, también podemos, podemos sustituir este nice por better. Y entonces cambiaría un poquito el contexto porque sería como, no sería mejor que, uh -huh, no sería mejor estudiar inglés que francés. Wouldn't it be nice to study English instead of French? Wouldn't it be better to eat chicken? No sería mejor comer pollo. Wouldn't it be better to eat chicken? No sería mejor mandar el reporte. ¿Verdad? Por si acaso. Wouldn't it be better to send the report just in case? Uh -huh. so, es como esto de no sería. Entonces, este nice lo puede sustituir. Puede decir nice, que el nice es como no sería bueno que. Y el better es como decir no sería mejor que. Y dice la oración. Entonces, el wouldn't it se utiliza de esta manera como para dar una sugerencia. Y aunque parezca negativa, pero en realidad es positiva, porque si yo doy una sugerencia como, no sería mejor que comiéramos pollo. Es una sugerencia positiva. Entonces, eh, básicamente, así utilizamos el wouldn't it be better, or el wouldn't it be nice, uh, wouldn't it be okay. Uh -huh. yes. Entonces, ok. ¿Hay alguna otra duda en este momento? No, solamente es repetir. Ok, bye. Entonces, Karen, well, eh, básicamente, pues, esa era toda la información que yo le eh, iba a pedir, ¿verdad? Y más que todo, saber eh, su propósito al estudiar el idioma. ¿Cuál es su propósito? Bueno, de mi parte, sí, ser eh, una, una mejor oportunidad laboral. Actualmente, donde trabajo, este, voy a ir, vamos a, a iniciar un proyecto y si es importante saber inglés, porque vamos a hacer contacto con estudiantes okay. de, de Estados Unidos directamente. Entonces, sí. Bueno, y, y de diferentes partes del mundo, pero eh, el inglés es, es, lo, es lo importante. Bien, ellos vienen de pasantes, entonces voy a tener bastante contacto. Bueno, me alegra que... Eh, vaya a tener contacto con el idioma, ¿verdad? Me alegra okay. eso bastante eh, y me alegra que se esté preparando porque en realidad recuerde que es un proceso, ¿verdad? Es un proceso y al principio se va a sentir un poco nerviosa, ¿verdad? Pero eso le va a servir y le va a ayudar para que usted mejore en el idioma. Por supuesto que le va a ayudar muchísimo. Le va a ayudar como no tiene idea. Entonces es bien importante que se prepare. Uh, trate de estudiar todo lo que pueda, de practicar más que todo, de hablar en las clases, etcétera, para que usted pueda eh, quitarse como ese miedo, esa pena, ¿verdad? De hablar el idioma, ¿sí? Sí. Vale, perfecto, Karen. Entonces, bueno, eh, un gusto, cualquier cosa, Karen, usted me puede escribir alguna pregunta, duda de, de un tema o algo. No dude que usted me puede escribir a mí personalmente o me puede mandar la pregunta al WhatsApp, al grupo. Y si no, me lo manda a mí. ¿Ok? De acuerdo. Muchas gracias. Teacher. Ok. Have a good night. I'll see you back tomorrow. ¿Ok? Thank you, teacher. Good night. night. Thank you. Ok. Bye-bye.